this is a bit of a different video that I'm going to be doing. But it's a video nonetheless that I wanted to do for a long, long time. Now I have the chance to do it. So let's do it. To people who do this hobby, do you find it enjoyable with friends? I do. I have a good friend. A bunch of good friends, I should say. And they're up at a hobby shop that I love to go to. Whistle Stop Trains. One of these friends, Oregon Western Rail Productions, has been there for pretty much ever. But what you see before you is a culmination of me and many friends and family. So first, with the cab forwards way over here, one, two, and three down there. My dad loved those engines. They were big freight to him. And for me, that's kind of why I do the big railroad. Big freight. And to him, big freight was everything. Well, he liked his branch lines too, but primarily, you see one of those thumping along with a heavy container train or a heavy mainline freight was always his intention. Then I come to one of my then I come to a joint shared hobby by one of my friends, one of my dad's, and my dad as well, me. But these two, which are military, Air Force and Army we both have a healthy respect for the services. One of my friends, he loves heritage. One of my other friends, he loves the cute stuff. And he likes the oddballs. So do I. Another one of my friends, local power. Yet one of my other friends, switcher. Third friend, boom, done. A fourth friend, medium power. And... I saved the worst for last, me. Branch line power. But without, but we all work together. We're all enjoying the hobby because, you know, we don't just enjoy the hobby in a way that's like boring, bland, and comical. No, we enjoy the hobby in a way that really stands out. I like my branch line trains. It's hence, hence the little 440. One of my buddies, he loves local power. Hence the dash nines. One of my other buddies likes what he calls medium power on medium trackage. Hence the 2662 here. Yet one of my other friends, he loves what he likes to call the strange and comical. Hence the two tiger snow, the tiger striped diesel. Two of my other buddies, the one that shares the U.S. Armed services and the one who likes heritage, all of their heavy freight diesels. Then we have my friends who like fast mountains. They're not big daylight fans, but they like their fast SP mountains. Then I have my little switcher friend. Then we have my dad who likes his big power. But as you can see, as I pulled the each item away, the pile got smaller and smaller. Now imagine just putting these three on every little conceivable duty. Not gonna happen. So while these three are thumping away with their big, powerful freight trains, we now add in our passenger engine. 
our bulky slow goods and container service locomotives. We bring it in our two other diesels for odd jobs. We bring in our little switcher for well switcher work. Now we bring in our medium power for medium duties. So coal trains going to and from steel mills and other places like that. Then we bring in our local power to assist. And then we bring in our branch line power. You know, one brick does not hold up your whole house. But 30? Yeah, they're going to be strong. And in a way, this hobby is also enjoyable because there's one other thing. And my dad was very keen on this one. There's one other thing that this hobby teaches. And what is that? What is that other little thing? It teaches the value of trust and reliability. Because I'm trusting, well, I can't say my dad because he's dead, but when he was alive, I'd be trusting him to handle the heavy freight. I'd be trusting one of my buddies on the express. I'd be trusting my, th my other friends on these guys to handle the heavy, heavy freight trains. I'd be trusting one of my buddies here to handle, like, coal trains. I'd be trusting one of my buddies here with these two guys. these two for other traffic. I'd be trusting my local friend with local traffic. I'd be trusting my switching friend here with, you know, switching traffic. But they'd also be trusting me they'd be trusting me to steer the branch lines back on course. You can have as many engines as you want. I have a ton of engines. You, but you can have as many as you want. You can have as many as you think you need. But when you don't have the trust of other people behind you to do operations to run the railroad as a railroad, you're just playing trains. But let's talk a little more about why I like the hobby as it is. But that's another video. But I'm going to leave you with four questions. Number one, do you, the viewer, find the hobby enjoyable by yourself or with other friends, other people? Number two, what engine or what duty do you find yourself coming back to time and again? Number three. What is your guilty pleasure? Like, what do you not want people to know about you? Oh, I secretly love branch line work. But I gotta show that I'm a big mainline man for the big club. But secretly, I love my branch lines. I'm gonna be honest, I love branch lines myself. And number four. And especially in this hobby, do you value stability in one job or utilitarian versatility? Where you can go from freight to passenger to, to helper to industrial work based on the based on the needs of the club at a show. I'm gonna leave it to you to figure that out. For me, I find this enjoyable with other people. What engine do I keep coming back to? Well, camelbacks, small things, 
small malaise from time to time, even little switchers. Number three, what is my guilty pleasure? Trash trains. Yeah, trash trains. And number four, I prefer the utility of a person than being able to just jump in and they're already automatically comfortable with you know, oh, they're handling, okay, I've got five guys handling freight, I've got five guys handling passenger, I've got 12 guys on the 12 branch lines, I've got, you know, crews switching out the harbor, oh, but this steel mill needs a switcher, I'll take that job. I value that. But it's up to you. What do you value the most? What do you like? Look at those four questions back in the video. I'm not going to ask them again. Again. No, again. But uh, I want you to think about that. So, I'm going to leave that to you guys. I thank you. Have a good day. Goodbye.